YouTube, it's Haley. This is going to be my 10 week update. Today I am 10 weeks and 4 days pregnant and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, a little bit more tired here and there lately. Um, I don't know if it's because of um, the other night at work I did something that I usually don't do and I had an overnight shift. So possibly because of that changing my sleep up a little bit, but just a little bit more tired lately. I've been taking a lot more naps during the day than I'd like to. Um, I'll just wake up really late and then I'm like awake for a couple more hours, eat dinner, and then back to sleep for sleeping at night time. So just a lot of sleeping. I usually don't like naps like on a usual basis, so I don't enjoy napping that much, but I'm tired and I feel the need to and I have been a little bit more. Um, bloating. I feel like super bloated. I don't know like I don't have a baby bump or anything so I know that but and the last time that I got weight at the doctor's I wasn't gaining weight. My weight had fluctuated but stayed around the same. Um, you know like I had like actually lost a few pounds and then went back to my normal weight so I don't think I'm gaining weight but I just feel bigger so I'm thinking it's just bloating because some days I'll feel fine and then some days I'll just feel like really huge. So it's all part of it, I guess. Um, another thing is heartburn hasn't really been an issue. Some people complain about like heartburn um, throughout, but I've only had heartburn once and it was the other night I was eating for dinner tortellini with tomato sauce on it. And I think it was the tomato sauce, but that gave me a really bad heartburn. So that night was uncomfortable. Um, the other thing is peeing more often. I've been getting up to pee in the middle of the night more, so that's annoying. I'll be trying to get, you know, a good night's rest because I have work in the morning or something, or I'll just be like trying to go back to sleep and then I have to get up to pee again. And I'll fall asleep again and wake up shortly later and have to pee again. And I'll just, sometimes I'll be like, maybe I don't have to pee and like, Try to go back to sleep, but I'll be like, no, I do have to get up and go pee. So, that's been going on. Um, I had said before in a different video that I made that I've been drinking, you know, plenty of fluids. Um, I usually am a very avid water drinker. That's mostly what me and Rob drink is water. That's usually what we have in the house. But, um, I've still been drinking, like, two to three liters of water. And then also like some V8 fusion juice like in the morning with breakfast or some orange juice. And um, I'm still drinking the same amount of fluids but I just feel a lot more thirsty lately. I feel the need to drink more fluids. So that's maybe, I don't know, maybe that's what's making me have to be more in the middle of the night is like drinking more fluids. I don't know but I feel more thirsty lately. And um... I've also been switching, even though I like water, like I've always drank water, lately water, like, I didn't want to drink it because of my nausea. It was just kind of making me feel kind of sick to drink water. I don't know if just because the plain taste or what or because I was drinking so much of it, but I would be thirsty and then I would not be wanting to drink water. So what happened is my godmother suggested to me that I try lemonade. She said that when she was pregnant and she didn't feel good, she tried lemonade and it helped her. So, I've tried a few different types of lemonade. I had just the regular Country Time lemonade mix, and I made that. And then I got some Crystal Light lemonade also, but I didn't want to be drinking too much of that because I know it has like the aspartame in it, and don't want to be drinking too much of that. But just the little to-go pouches of Crystal Light, those are convenient. If I'm like on my way to work, I'll bring one in case I want to make some lemonade or something. But the Country Time lemonade, some Crystal Light packets, and then I'll be making it also myself. I got lemons, and I'll squeeze the lemons and add like just as much sugar as I need for it to be sweet. And it's really good. I like it when I make it myself. I put a little bit of honey in it as well too. So, and it actually, it really has helped a lot. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it, but my nausea has been getting a lot better since I've been drinking the lemonade. Um, maybe it's in my head, maybe because she suggested it and I tried it, it's in my head or something, I don't know, but I feel better. Um, I feel like I've been like wanting to eat more normal food than I have been lately as well, like before I was not wanting to eat any meat. And I've eaten meat several times in the past week and been totally fine with it. 
Um, with that being said, the nauseous feeling and like certain aversions are getting a little bit better, but I'm still nauseous throughout the day. Just not as bad with like my eating situations and I'm still puking. I actually puked for the first time the other day at work. I um, had brought in some peaches as a snack and I was eating some peaches and then I had to go to the bathroom and I just got sick. I don't know if it was I didn't like the peaches right then or what, but that was the first time that happened. So I got sick at work for the first time. And then I also got sick on a car ride for the first time. Um, it was the other day actually. It was the first time that I had said anything. I told Rob, I said, you know what? I really feel like I could eat anything right now. I don't feel like I have anything that I don't want to eat right now. Nothing is like really grossing me out. I was like, let's go out to eat because um, this local place that has like really fresh food that they make themselves. They were having like a really good special that night and I was like, yeah, let's go out to eat. So we went out to eat and then on the car ride home I had to have Rob pull over to the side of the road and I just threw up. <laughs> and you know what, like the whole time that we were eating I was fine and I didn't even feel sick afterwards and it was just during the car ride home. Just, I was like, well it was good up to there. <laughs> but with that, like I'm not puking as much in the morning, like I don't know, again, if it's lemonade or what, but before I had been saying it was hard for me to eat breakfast in the morning, I was feeling sick mostly in the morning, and it's not that bad. I still feel sick in the morning, but I can get through breakfast easier and I haven't thrown up in the morning. It's just been like, um, random sporadic puking just here and there, but, um, different times and it's not like right in the morning, so that's been making me feel better because it was really bad for me in the morning because I just wanted to, you know, get ready and start my day and it was hard being, feeling so sick. Um, the other thing, I, you know, I made my video the other day about, like, um, exercises, prenatal exercises that are okay to do while you're pregnant and stuff. Um, and I've been going to those classes on Wednesdays. I actually missed my class this Wednesday. I, um, was super bummed, but it was the day after I had worked the overnight shift at work, so it was just kind of like, I could not do it. I had slept and I could have gotten up and gone, but I was just way too tired. You know, I hadn't gotten enough sleep before to be able to go and do it, so I missed that one class and that kind of bummed me out, but then they're going to be starting to do this new thing also for my prenatal exercise class where there's an outdoor pool on the base near the gym that I go to my exercise class at, and on a normal basis you have to pay if you want to go swim in there, which really sucks, but, and it's three dollars every time that you want to go swimming in there. So I've not gone yet, um, I'm pretty cheap about that, I'm like, I don't want to pay three dollars to go swimming in there, like, I didn't even know if I'm going to go swimming that long or what, but they're offering for my prenatal fitness class that we can go on Mondays. Mondays at 11, we can go and swim for like an hour for free, so that's awesome, because they know that a lot of us pregnant women are going to be wanting to go swimming during the summer, so... That'll give us a little break, and that's pretty awesome. Um, something else that I actually just discovered earlier today is me making baby registries. I made, started making a baby registry on Amazon.com. I did not know that you can make a baby registry on Amazon.com. Um, we have one made at Babies R Us and Target already. We've been adding things here and there to those, but I love Amazon. <laughs> I love to shop on Amazon. It's dangerous when I'm on there too long. I'll be wanting to buy way too many things, but now I've discovered that you can make a baby register on there, and so I'm in the middle of that. <laughs> I'm, that's what I've been doing upstairs, actually, and when I'm done with this and I upload it, I'll probably start doing that again. <laughs> but that's fun. I like making the baby registries. I go a little crazy sometimes. I add a whole bunch of stuff, and then I go back later, and I delete stuff off of it. I'll be like, I don't think I need that. <laughs> I don't think I need that, but... And then baby buying ourselves. Um, we have been posting pictures on our Facebook page of our baby buys. I'm not sure if you've seen those or not, but um, a couple things that we've gotten. We've gotten one cloth diaper so far. And um, we've gotten a couple of gifts from family that they haven't sent yet, but they said that they got us some gifts. And then yesterday we went to this thrift store near our house and I got a Moby Wrap. So I'm super excited. I actually just started reading about these online the other day and I really wanted one. And then yesterday when we went out um, thrift store shopping, this one was right there. 
Savers. Um, if you have one near you, you should go check it out because I love Savers. Um, they used to have them back home where me and Rob are from. And then I haven't seen one since then, but they just opened one here where we're living now. And also, they have a 30% military discount. So, we got a 30% military discount on this movie wrap that was $12.99, so it was only $9.98. Crazy. Like, I was like, wow, these are really expensive. And the thing that amazes me the most is that I don't even think that anybody used this before. Like, you know, it looks brand new, and on top of just, like, looking really good, I actually haven't opened it yet at all, but look it. It's, like, completely wrapped. Like, it's never been taken out of here before. So, I'm just super excited about that. And I'm going to open that up later. But I wanted to show you it before I opened it so that you could see just how perfect it was put in there. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm baby, well, semi-baby related item bought is I bought a new yoga ball. Because my other one had a hole in it that I was making my other video with the other day. And it's also smaller. This one's bigger. Still not as big of a one as I'd like to get right now. I'd like to get one of the, like, way bigger ones. This is still a pretty small one. Like, if you could see me sitting on it, it probably looks bigger next to me. But sitting on it, this is a small one. I'd like to get a bigger one. But that one, I got at the store five below. Or everything at the store is five dollars or lower. So I got that for five dollars. And it's a pretty good one. So I can just sit on it while I'm watching TV and, like, bounce or just, like roll back and forth, do different stuff like that, and it's good because it's better than just sitting down on the couch. Um, and then I guess the only other thing that there is to say is that I'm super excited for my next ultrasound. That is in only 11 days now, so ah, I feel like just the other day I booked the appointment for it and it was like super far away and now it's only 11 days away. And so I can't wait to see my baby again and see how much they've grown and get a picture hopefully to show you guys and just to look at. I will just, I'll always be looking at my pictures. I'll go back and look and be like, well, that's my baby. So I'm going to get another picture to be able to look at all the time. Um, another thing that I got too is um, at the thrift store place on base, I got a lot of photo albums. So I have a lot of empty photo albums ready to be filled. So... I'm ready to get another baby picture. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all that I have for you for this week. So, I will talk to you next time. Bye!